The town election results are in. And for Board of Selectmen, there were four candidates for two open seats. Brendan Tedstone and Claire Wright will fill the two open Board of Selectmen seats. In this year's town election, there were six other contested races besides Board of Selectmen. Thomas Garabedian beat out Dr. Bruce Carlin for town moderator. Connor Deegan was elected over Henry Kanicki as the new town clerk. In the closest race of the night, Jennifer Flanagan beat out Dr. Philip Cohen for Board of Health. Michael Hayes is the new constable as he beat out Michael Umina. For the Hopkinton Housing Authority, Nancy Kelly defeated Emily D'Urso. And for Parks and Recreation Commission, Kelly Karp took the vote over Eric Sonnet. The day after the town election, the first Hopkinton Selectman meeting was held with new selectmen Brendan Tedstone and Claire Wright. The board reorganized and voted 4-1 to one to make Brian Hur the chairman and voted unanimously to make John Cotino co-chair. During the meeting, the selectmen congratulated Program Director of Hopkinton Youth and Family Services, Denise Hildreth, for receiving her Ph.D. from Simmons College. Thank you. I want to thank my family for standing by me through eight and a half years. Um, it was a grind and really tough to finish while raising a family and working full time. So thank you. And thank you for allowing them to be here to get some recognition for helping me through it too, especially my husband who really pulled me through and didn't let me quit. So that's what I'd like to say. Thank you. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about your PhD work? Sure. So it's a PhD in clinical social work from Simmons College. And the topic of my dissertation was homicide, bereavement, and employment. So um, interviewing through long interviews, family members of homicide victims in Dorchester, Mattapan, and Roxbury, hearing their stories and specifically looking at the interaction between traumatic loss and employment. So I interviewed people that were specifically employed at the time that the death occurred and looked at how their need to grieve impacted their ability to work and really wanting to impact the way in which we look at bereavement leave policy. So in the United States, we don't get much time off to bereave the loss of a loved one, even if that loss is something that is, you know, expected, someone is old, someone is sick. So specifically when something like this happens tragically, Logically, you know, we're expected to be back at work within three to five days, and within three to five days, some of these family members had barely identified bodies, and they were also cleaning up crime scenes, sometimes that happened right on their doorsteps, sometimes through gang violence, and specifically looking at the ways in which that really impacted their lives. Selectmen also welcomed in the planning board for a joint meeting to interview candidates for two open seats on the planning board. After hearing out all the candidates, the boards decided on Brian Karp and Vincent Cerulli to fill the vacant seats until the 2017 town election. So I have, for the past five years, served on the planning board and, and enjoyed the five years that I've served. I didn't seek re-election, re as many of uh, the fellow planning board members know, um, because at the time when I decided to not seek re-election, I thought we were going to be able to get through the site plan review of legacy farms. When I realized it wasn't going to happen is when I decided I needed to get back on the planning board because it's something that has gone unfulfilled and who better to see that through than someone who's gone through it. As I thought about why I was coming here tonight, the answer really came very quickly. I'm here to say thanks. This town's done a lot for us. We didn't raise our kids in a bubble. And most of the decisions that were made were made right here in these rooms. And I want the opportunity to do that as well. I think I can get along with, with anyone because that's how I've been my whole life. And I believe I have uh, quite a bit of, of to give, time, effort, energy. And I've read the vision statement. I've read the master plan. They both align with my values and my beliefs. And at the end of the day, I think I could do a very good job with the opportunity.